Hello and welcome to Philippine Politics and Governance. I am Armin Rose and I will be your guide as you learn the concepts of this course. This is Lesson 5, History of Philippine Politics. There are eight major eras or periods in the evolution of Philippine politics and governance. The pre-colonial period, the Spanish period, the revolutionary period, the American period, the Japanese period, the post-war period, the martial law period, and the post-EDSA period. We will go through each of these periods one by one. The pre-colonial period is the time before 1565. There were four types of societies in the Philippines before the arrival of the Spaniards. The class of society is a community that is so small that there is no need to elect a leader. They only have leaders for hunting parties and then the leadership will be gone when the hunting party is over. A warrior society is a community that has a defined warrior class and appointed leaders because of hostile relations with other communities. The petty plutocracy is a community where there is a clear division of economic class and the leader is chosen from the privileged class after proving himself worthy. And the principality or barangay is a community with a clear ruling class called the Maharlika, led by a Datu or Raha. There are also the free men or the Timawa, the serfs called Aliping Namamahay, and the slaves or Aliping Sagigilid. The Spanish period is from 1565 to 1898. Upon the arrival of Spain in the 16th century, they abolished the indigenous political systems existing in the areas they were able to occupy. These areas came under the rule of the King of Spain through the Viceroy of Latin America. Spain was able to hold power throughout the islands of Luzon and Visayas for over 300 years. Reducción is a centralized settlement around colonial institutions. This is where the colonial government lived the Gobernador General is the head of the Philippine colony, with the Alcalde, Corregimiento, Gobernador Silio, and Cabeza de Barangay holding office over small areas. The Revolutionary Period is from 1868 to 1898. The propaganda movement was started by the Ilustrados led by Jose Rizal, Graciano Lopez Jaina, and Marcelo H. Del Pilar. They fought for reforms in Spanish rule, for equality of the Filipinos, and representation in the Spanish Congress. The Katipunan, or the Kataas-taasan, Kagalang-galangang Katipunan ng mga anak ng bayan, was started by Andres Bonifacio and fought for independence of the Philippine nation. The death of Jose Rizal sparked the beginning of the 1896 revolution. As the Katipunan grew, it separated into two factions, the Magdalo, led by Emilio Aguinaldo, and the Magdiwang, led by Andres Bonifacio. They held a meeting called the Tejeros Convention in March 22, 1897, and elected the president where Emilio Aguinaldo won. Emilio Aguinaldo created Biaknad Bato Republic in November 1, 1897, which was a short-lived republic because they made a deal with the Spanish government that they will be exiled in Hong Kong in exchange for concessions for the revolutionaries. Aguinaldo and his men returned from Hong Kong in May 24, 1898 and started a revolutionary government. They declared Philippine independence in June 12, 1898. The Malolos Convention was called in June 23, 1898 to create a constitution. The Malolos Constitution was served in January 21, 1899. And the first Philippine Republic was formally declared in January 23, 1899.
The American period is from 1898 to 1941. The Treaty of Paris ended the Spanish-American War. In this treaty, Spain seceded control of Puerto Rico, Guam, and Philippines to America for $20 million. The American occupation of the Philippines started the Philippine-American War. And uh, the official end of hostilities was declared in 1902. The Philippines created the military government and the Sherman Commission advised that civilian uh, government be started in areas that are occupied by America. The Taft Commission was the first civilian uh, governor of the Philippines. The Cooper Act of 1902 provided for the creation of the Philippine Legislature. The Legislature is bicameral with the Upper House and the Lower House. The Upper House is appointed and called the Philippine Commission, while the Lower House is elected and called the Philippine Assembly. The first election was held in 1907 and they held its first session. The Tidings McDuffie Act, or the Philippine Independence Act, established the Philippine Commonwealth Government with Manuel Quezon as President and Sergio Osmeña as Vice President and paved the way for the 1935 Constitution. The Japanese period is the shortest political period spanning only three years from 1941 to 1945. World War II began in September 1, 1939 and lasted up to September 2, 1945. Quezon and Osmeña were elected for a second term under the Commonwealth in November 1941. But in December 7, 1941, the Japanese forces attacked Pearl Harbor. This is to ensure that America cannot react to their next military advances. Ten hours after the attack of Pearl Harbor, Japan attacked simultaneously Philippines, Malaysia, and Indonesia. In the Philippines, it attacked Clark Air Base, Nichols Air Base, Camp John Hay, and Sangley Point, all the military installations of America in the Philippines. This meant that the Philippines has no military protection when the Japanese forces arrived. The Commonwealth government of Quezon and Osmeña went into exile in the United States when Japan occupied the Philippines in 1942. Manila was declared an open city in order to prevent the loss of lives. Japan established the Philippine Executive Commission and created a new constitution in 1943, creating the Second Philippine Republic with Jose P. Laurel as president. The Second Republic was referred to as the Puppet Government of Japan. Commonwealth was re-established in 1944 after the return of General Douglas MacArthur and the defeat of the Japanese forces, Sergio Osmeña was president following the death of Manuel Quezon. The period after the war is called the Third Republic from 1945 to 1971, following the independence granted to the Philippines by the Tidings McDuffie Act. The Third Republic re-established the 1935 Constitution and established a presidential system, a bicameral legislature in the form of the Senate and the House of Representatives, and an independent judicial system. This is the time of rebuilding the country ravaged by war and establishing international relations as an independent nation. The presidents of the Third Republic were Manuel Rojas, El P. Jocirino, Ramon Magsaysay, Carlos P. Garcia, Diosdado Macapagal, and Ferdinand Marcos. Martial Law and the Fourth Republic, 1972 to 1986. Ferdinand Marcos was the only president under the 1935 Constitution to be re-elected. He had two terms from 1965 to 1969 and 1969 to 1972. He declared martial law in September 21, 1972 two months before the election period in November. He established 
what we call the Bagong Lipunan or New Society. He wrote the 1973 Constitution, which changed the government from presidential to parliamentary and made a unicameral legislature called the National Assembly. The Constitution was amended in 1976 to allow Marcos to be both president and prime minister at the same time. It was amended again in 1981 to create the Fourth Republic and allow him to run for office again. Marcos formally declared martial law over, the Philippines held an election, and Marcos won a third term. Senator Nino Aquino was Ferdinand Marcos's most staunch rival. He was exiled in the United States, but he chose to return to the Philippines. In 1983, he returned to the Philippines and was shot and killed as he was stepping off the airplane. His widow, Cory, ran against Marcos in the 1986 snap elections. The polls were considered an electoral fraud and led to the People Power Revolution. The Fifth Republic is from 1986 to the present. Post-EDSA period is known as the Fifth Republic and the return of democracy in the Philippines. A revolutionary government was established under Corazon Aquino after the People Power Revolution. 1987 Constitution returned the Senate and the House of Representatives, the independent judiciary, and supreme civilian authority. It extended the term of the president to six years but removed the option for re-election. It also included that the declaration of martial law must be approved by the Senate and Congress. The presidents who served under the Fifth Republic are Corazon Aquino, Fidel Ramos, Joseph Estrada, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, Benigno Aquino III, and Rodrigo Duterte. The following are the reference materials used in the creation of this presentation and the ideas discussed in this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson.